Savadi Cup everyone, good morning from Caron Beach, it's the 16th of December 2021 and today it's a bit cloudy so I don't have much to show you around so I thought I would just share a little bit more about myself because many of you ask me many questions about myself, about my life, about my job, where am I from, what's my past, what is my career, how can I make a living, what are my plans for the future, what are my next adventure etc. So I thought let's take this opportunity and this cloudy day to share a bit more about myself and to answer those questions. So let's begin. Let's start with the first and simple question, where am I from? I'm from Italy, actually I live in a very small place between Como Lake and Milan in the north of Italy, right next to the border with Switzerland. Actually Switzerland is like 25 minutes away from my home. It's a very peaceful town, very quiet, immersed in nature and my childhood was pretty good. I had some great friends, a great family, I have two older sisters and overall I have great memories from my past. The second question is what is your journey and what are your previous careers, what have you done in the past, what kind of job you did, etc. So I come from a middle class family and I didn't really have much when I grew up and my parents did something really good to me, meaning everything that I wanted to buy or every experience that I wanted to do, I had to kind of work it out by myself. I had to go work and find the money and then I can just do whatever I want with the money that I make. So I started to work pretty early. Actually, my first job was at 16 year old as a restaurant waiter and then as soon as I turned 18, I started to work in restaurants, in bars, and very quickly I became a bartender. So I started to work in nightclubs, especially during the weekend, but also during the weekdays, different clubs, different bars. I was kind of working full time as a bartender in the evening, while during the day I was studying hotel management. So after high school, I decided to enroll in a hotel management school. It was a very intense, short and professionally focused course on becoming like a, a professional into the hospitality industry. After I finished that course, I was so excited to start working in hotels so I started to apply for jobs in Italy and all the interviews went terribly bad because I didn't speak a word of English my English was terrible and it was mandatory to work in hotels so I quit my job as a bartender I put everything on hold and I moved to London for one year to learn English that was back in 2009 I lived one year in London amazing experience I was like 20 year old super young a lot of fun and I was working restaurants bar bar back runner washing dishes washing glasses cleaning the floor all the humble job that someone will do that doesn't speak the language so I worked there for one year and after that I finally was ready to work in hotels so I came back to Italy I found a job in a four-star hotel I worked there for about a year and at the same time I kept working as a bartender during nighttime so I basically had two jobs the whole time during the day I was in the hotel and during the evening in the bars in the club as a bartender and then in 2010 2011 that was the turning point for my hospitality career because I got a job actually it was a paid internship in Los Angeles, California, which was my dream, but it's so hard to get there and to get the visa to work in the US. But luckily I got a job, thanks to an agency, to work at the Hilton Los Angeles airport. I just booked my flight, prepared everything and went straight to Los Angeles and I worked there for one year and I had the most amazing time of my life. And that's where I really grew professionally as well. I became really competent in the hospitality industry and I was working for one of the most popular, most famous hotel brands in the world, Hilton Hotels. And that's why today I keep going to Hilton and you know, Hilton is still very close to my heart because I worked there before. And after that, my career in hospitality continued because after one year in Los Angeles, I moved to Dubai because Hilton offered me a position in Dubai for a pre-opening of a 
five star hotel in JBR, Jumeirah Beach Residence. An amazing hotel right in front of the beach. So I didn't think twice, I just came back to Italy, pack again and move back to Dubai. And that's where I spent 10 months working for the Hilton in Dubai. I can go on and talk for hours about my story, of course, because I've done so many things in just a few years. I'm currently 33 years old. But then after Dubai, I realized that I didn't want to work in hotels anymore. It was very stressful, a lot of pressure, always pleasing the customer, etc. So I decided to quit and to move back to Italy. I was 24 years old and that's when I had a big transition in my career because I wanted to try to start my own business. I wanted to be more free, more independent, more creative. I wanted to serve and help people in my own way and not just be an employee of a big corporation. So it took me a while to kind of get some contacts, do some research, think about it, plan and try this and try that. And while doing all these things, I kept working as a bartender in the evening to kind of finance myself. And then after a few months, the right idea came to me. I wanted to be like a consultant. I wanted to help young people in Italy to do the same experiences that I've done a few years before. So I wanted to help them to travel the world, to work abroad, to find internship, to find like language courses, to kind of challenge themselves, discover the world, but at the same time also grow their career by doing professional work abroad. So I set up this kind of online consulting agency where I would help people to find their job abroad. I developed some partnership in the USA, in UK, in Australia, thanks also to my previous contacts. And then I was consulting them, I was interviewing these young people, and then I was actually sending them abroad. And I was also supporting them with the visa procedure, with the insurance. I was providing like a full package to help them to go abroad and to follow their dream career. And that lasted for about six years, from 2014 to 2020. And that was the first business that I started that actually allowed me to work online, to be kind of a location independent. And that's when in 2015, I said, you know what? Why do I have to stay in Italy when I can just bring my laptop to Southeast Asia, to Thailand, to Bali, and I can just do the consulting job abroad, working from my computer? And that's what I did. That's when in September 2015, I bought a one-way ticket to Chiang Mai, Thailand. And that's where my digital nomad journey started. And from Chiang Mai, I moved to Koh Phangan, and then I moved to Bali, and then I moved to Sri Lanka, and then I moved to Mexico, and I moved to Brazil, and I moved to Ecuador. And basically, I kept traveling for five years nonstop as a digital nomad while I was working online and running my consulting business. At the same time, in 2015, I also opened my first YouTube channel. So I'm not a new YouTuber, actually. I had a previous channel for almost six years starting in 2015 while I was in Koh Phangan, Thailand and I just started for fun because I wanted to share my travels, my experiences, my lessons. I wanted to share to young people what I was learning along the journey. So I started for fun but very quickly within a year that YouTube channel became my second job and after a few years again it became my first job. Not really for YouTube paying me because back then I was not even monetizing my video but because young Italian people started to watch my my YouTube videos and they wanted to do some sort of one-on-one -on -one consultation with me. They wanted to be like guided, they want to talk to me, they want some advice, they want some directions, they want to hear my story, they want me to share my experience with them, etc. So within a year, I actually opened a coaching and consulting business connected to my YouTube channel where I was offering one-on-one -on -one session to my viewers. So basically I was doing this coaching and consulting call and people kept asking me the same question over and over. So in 2017, I said, you know what, I can just put those answers answer and those information and those advice into an ebook. I can just write them down and then sell this ebook. And that's what I did. I wrote my first ebook in 2017 and then I wrote another one a few months after and then I wrote another one in 2018. I wrote three ebooks in Italian that I was selling on my website while I kept doing YouTube videos and while I kept running my consulting business. So yes, I was working very, very hard and all of this while traveling the world full time. Then another evolutionary step was in 2019 when I decided to create my first video course where I will guide people step by step on how to do what I actually did before, meaning how you can identify your strength, your skills, your talents, and just create an online business based on your skills. So I was just guiding people on creating their own freedom by starting an online business. And I've been running this course until last year. Just in 2021, I decided to shut down everything. I closed the course. I actually closed the YouTube channel. I basically hide everything from YouTube so it's not available anymore. I closed my website, I closed my coaching business, I closed my agency because I kind of had a 
a breakdown. I kind of had a, a professional crisis, also an identity crisis sort of thing. It's kind of a long story to explain, but I just decided that I wanted to quit and I wanted to take one year off where I will just reflect, take care of myself, keep traveling and just think what I want to do next with my life. Because I felt that that career and that chapter was over, it was time to shut it down and to move on and grow and evolve. So that's basically what I did. I took one year off, which was this past year. I just did nothing. I was just taking care of myself, riding my motorbike, going around Thailand I couldn't go abroad because of the COVID of course but I was just taking a sabbatical year without really working and using my saving to take care of myself and now here I am starting new starting fresh I just opened this YouTube channel I didn't plan to open this channel but it just came naturally after one year of kind of take it easy and reflecting and thinking and just enjoy myself and here I am I'm glad that this channel is going very well it's picking up very quickly I don't really want to help people personally anymore as I was doing before like coaching and consulting I just want to share my life my experiences my travel what I learned and if I can be of any help I'm always happy to help and I hope this video somehow they also help you and guide you to come to Thailand and to you know navigate this complex situation that we are living with the Thailand pass etc but this project is very different from the previous one it's very light it's very creative very spontaneous I don't have a real agenda I don't really want to give a strong business direction I just want to do what I enjoy doing it and share it with the video so this is basically my career until now my long story short or probably my long story long and I could have gone like way deeper and tell you many many more things but I think it's long enough let's move on And now the big question, how do I support myself? How do I make money? Many people are interested about it. As I just shared, I've been working since I'm 16 years old. And in the past few years, yes, I traveled the world, but I was living in very cheap locations, such as Thailand, Indonesia, Sri Lanka. I live in India for one year, so I could tell you like many more stories, maybe in other videos, but I was living pretty frugally. I was not spending too much money, but I kept working and I was working hard, to be honest. So in the past year, as I said, I took it easy. I was just using my saving. And also during the years, I also invest in a smart way. And I'm very passionate about Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency movement. So that's a big part of it. But overall, I would say I always work pretty hard for my job, for my businesses, for my ideas, more for my projects, etc. So, so that's how I'm able to support myself. And now it's this new project, this YouTube, it's, it's a fun adventure and it's also a great way to make money and kind of start a new chapter of my life and a new career so that's pretty much it at the moment I'm making income with YouTube also with affiliate marketing connected to YouTube I still have a couple of clients that I follow and I help with coaching and one-on-one -on -one support but as I said I'm not doing that anymore and I'm not interested to get more clients for the consulting business So last and final question for today's video. Where am I going next and what are my upcoming plans? Man, I think during this high season, I really want to explore as many places as possible in Thailand. So I want to go to Krabi, Phi Island, Koh Phangan, Koh Tao, Koh Samui, up to Chiang Mai, Bangkok, Koh Lanta, Koh Lipe. I want to go everywhere. I want to suck the best out of this high season and of this beautiful water and of this beautiful sun. So I'll be going everywhere and share videos with you. But the next trip will actually be in Bangkok and then Chiang Mai and that's next week because if you follow my videos you know that I bought a new motorbike back in Chiang Mai on the Africa Twin and it's still there because I'm doing some custom wrapping I'm basically changing the color of the motorbike I just love to customize motorbikes I do that all the time with my motorbikes so it's almost ready will be ready next week so I will just go to Chiang Mai get the motorbike and guess what I will drive it all the way down to Phuket I've done it a few times with different motorbikes it's nothing new to me and I'm really excited about the journey so stay tuned because there are many videos to come
thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you enjoy me sharing a little bit more about myself my story my past careers and my new plans and projects for the future please let me know in the comments below what you think or just share any comments and also like this video to support my channel meanwhile the sun came out here in phuket i'm in kata beach and it's absolutely beautiful i'm gonna swim now so bye for now and i'll see you in the next video bye bye Thank <laughs> you.